This is the border region of Uganda with Kenya, a remote area inhabited by communities whose livelihoods depend on livestock. In search of pastures and water sources, they frequently cross the border with their cattle and goats. Chalima Logid, a father of nine, used to cross the border to trade livestock, but he was confronted with different challenges. Diseases cross the border with ease. Pastoralists can only rely on services offered at endpoints in either Uganda or Kenya. Like here in Moroto, Uganda, where local organizations maintain routine checkups. This blood sampling, we normally do disease surveillance, and the idea is that we normally collect these blood samples on a return basis. So, what we do, we go check them for various parasites. Those are the, those organisms which are, which are responsible for causing disease in cattle. But there are differences in the quality and the prices of the veterinary services offered on both sides of the border. And the lack of coordination makes it difficult to control disease outbreaks. We find that uh, uh, people on the other one side of the border are controlling diseases, but the people on the other side of the border are not controlling diseases, maybe through vaccination or uh, other treatments. With support from the European Union and ECHO, this situation prompted EGAD, FAO and other organizations to initiate a program to harmonize animal health care on both sides of the border. April 2013, a memorandum of understanding between the governments of Uganda and Kenya is signed. The agreement commits both governments to develop programs for animal health care in the border regions. The local NGO acted initiated the process. ACTED's role began in two, August 2011 when we initiated a cross-border meeting on a very local level just among the district veterinary officers. To, at that time it was to address an outbreak of brucellosis. Uh, we learned at that time that the DVOs didn't have the freedom to work together without blessing from their ministries and as a result we needed to move to ministry level. Under the RISPA initiative FAO liaised with the governments of Kenya and Uganda, and the cross-border animal health coordination was moved up the political agenda, resulting in the Memorandum of Understanding. The next step is now to implement, and the implementation entails development of a program, a program that is going to look at specifics on how to coordinate and share information. Number two, on how to have common uh, activities, for example, in animal health, uh, how do they, will they synchronize the various vaccination, treatment, information sharing and surveillance? How will they, they, how will they synchronize? So that's a critical part of the, the memorandum. After the devastating drought that hit the Horn of Africa in 2011, governments in Eastern Africa spearheaded initiatives to increase resilience of vulnerable communities. This new partnership is an important step. What gives you trust is the fact that uh, we definitely have um, uh, the highest political, political goodwill ever observed in our region. You've seen the presence of parliamentarians here, including the His Excellency the Chairman of the uh, Parliamentary Committee of DRM. Uh, you've seen the fact that Uganda has taken uh, you know, the initiative of having a whole ministry here with a very high level of political leadership. Uh, we have, we have um, interest from the technical officers, basically the veterinarians, and therefore this has to work. One of the first issues to tackle is a frequently reported lack of drugs to treat sick livestock. Here, Timothy Kilai is spraying a goat against ticks. But getting the spray and other treatments and medicines is a major issue. To us, community animal workers, actually, we have a challenge of lack of uh, the drugs, like now for this season, for animals, because the one that I was given got exhausted, got finished. The MOU will not necessarily provide the drugs, but uh, the key thing is the implementation of it, which is going to be through the program. The program now will go specifically to what the need is. If there's a need of uh, drugs, if there's a need for timely vaccination, then that is going to be picked up and provided by the respective government programs. According to EGAD, the experiences will serve 
as a model for other countries with pastoralist communities. This is an African continental agenda, uh, and therefore it starts somewhere. And of course we have to spread the success. Uh, in the Iga region, we'll have to spread it to other countries and then move on uh, to other countries in the, uh, the Pan-African continent. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up.